Hello tabletop fans, this is Rod, um, playing a game of Pro Table Games Basketball, or PTG Basketball, my first ever game of this. Uh, I received this game recently from one of our group members on Facebook. Um, I'm in the third quarter of a game between the Philadelphia 76ers and Houston Rockets of the 1976-77 season, and it was a very close game until the third quarter, uh, when the 76ers outscored the Rockets 32 to 18 and yeah, the Rockets just went dead cold from the field. Um, they're also battling some foul problems, but uh, the, the, the nearly tied game is now 83-75 Philadelphia going into the fourth. I was just going to play a, a couple minutes of the fourth quarter, show you how this game uh, by PTG Basketball, originally created in 1965, operates. So anyway, the leading scorers so far... Um, uh, Rudy Tomjanovich, I believe, leads all scorers with about 19 points. Uh, for the Sixers, Dr. J. Julius Irving has about 18. He's been pretty hot, had a good third quarter. And Doug Collins also, 10 points in the third quarter, has 16 on the game. So we're going to see how this goes. There's some players in foul trouble. Rudy T. has five fouls for the Rockets. Calvin Murphy has five fouls for the Rockets. There's no playing safe or any mode to play a defensive uh away from the defender type thing in this game. So, And McGinnis, George McGinnis has five fouls for the Sixers. So I'm starting all those guys in the fourth quarter. We'll see how long they last. Uh, this has been a, a pretty interesting game. It's it's all dice and uh, the floor play chart. As you can see, the floor play chart in the distance there. So I'll tell you how that works. Uh, we also have a little tally sheet where you um, basically do 50 shots or 50 field goal attempts per quarter. Um, I did find online a special sheet for 77, 1977 editions and above. They said to move the clock on every dice roll, but I found that, that I played about six minutes of that in this game, and uh, there were not enough shots in that first six minutes of the first quarter, so I just decided to go back to the old rules and only mark a tally if a shot, a few goal attempt is taken. So, anyway, we'll see. I'll let you know how this, let's find out how this works out. I'm going to try to play a couple minutes. See if I can stay focused, and uh, here we go. Uh, let's see. J Moses Malone got the jump ball in the first quarter, so uh, the fourth quarter team with the ball will be the um, 76ers. Let's see why, why is this thing giving me trouble here? I need to. I'll point this down toward the court so we can kind of, if you can see the results. I'll try to bring a couple cards into play. But anyway, you've got four dice. This is kind of a little demo here. You can see there's four dice here. Um, let's see. If, I'm not sure how I'm going to roll these things, but uh, anyway, I'll just roll them in front of you here. And so um, the, the two red dice represent the team shot card, which is over on the right side here. That'll determine who gets possession. And then the other two dice are like APA. I'm utilizing the bigger green one as the first digit of a uh, a number from 11 to 66, and that'll refer to numbers on the player's card. For instance, George McGinnis here has 11 through 66. And if he gets the ball, I'll roll, and the result will come off of one of these numbers. So let's play a couple minutes and uh, see how this thing works. As I said, the Rockets have the ball. They're down by eight. They were down by double digits you know, and more in the first in the part of the third quarter. So it's nice to see that they're actually... Um, Came back a couple points. We'll see if they can stay out of foul trouble. Murphy and Tom Janovich are big scorers, and they need them for this quarter. So I roll this, and as you can see, it's a five for the red. So for Houston, the five for the red is S1. The name on the right of that five is Lucas. And I don't have John Lucas in the game, but if the player with the ball, the five, which is the S, did I say S1? The S2, which refers to the fifth highest shooter in the line, the, the second highest shooter in the lineup, which is Calvin Murphy. And if Calvin Murphy had scored and Lucas was in the game, he'd get an assist for it. But anyway, this dice roll of four dice not only tells possession, but it also tells you what number on the card to refer to on Calvin Murphy. So the four and the four is 44. You check out Murphy's card very easily. Oh, not that easily. 
44 on Murphy is a 45. And just from playing about three quarters of this game, I know that's probably a turnover. You check the board under 45, the floor plate chart, 45. Oh, no, it isn't. If defender is class three or four, defense takes a steal. Class two, consult the action chart. Class one, offense takes balls, takes ball out of bounds after unsuccessful steal attempt. So I got to look at Murphy's defender, and that's um, Henry Bibby, who is a class 3A. So class 3, and I'm already losing, I've got the most complex one here. Uh, defense takes on steal, which is not really grammatically correct, but that means Murphy gets a turnover. I'm, I'm keeping score here, so let me be patient with me. Steal by Henry Bibby. And just and that does not result in the move of the clock because no shot was taken. So you move on. You just roll the four dice again. And this time we're going to look at the Sixers card because they just stole the ball. And it's an 11 and a 13. So the 11 refers to the S5 player. And S5 on the Sixers in the lineup right now because you got this little backup card that kind of gives you a way to ref reference them really quick. The S5 is Caldwell Jones, who doesn't shoot much. Caldwell has a, th on the 13 number, Caldwell has an 8. An 8, that might be a foul or a basket, depending on the defender. Kevin Kuhnert's defense is D. And that's not very good. So an 8, fouled in the act of shooting. Two free throws. So Kuhnert came in and has already picked up his fifth foul. Another rocket with fouls. And Caldwell gets to go to the free throw line. And I recall that Caldwell was only a 55% free throw shooter on you know based on limited attempts in 1977. So anywhere on this 11 to 66 where there's not an asterisk, it's good. So 11 to 34 is a miss. 35 to 66 is a make. So Caldwell quickly goes to the line because Kuhnert was not a very good defender. And I rolled a 24, which is a missed shot. And I rolled a 52, and that is a made free throw. So Caldwell Jones makes one free throw, and it's now 84, 75, Sixers. We move right along. I'm just going to throw this. I'm going to throw this down the sideline here. Oh, just lost it. This is my pool table. I do not know where that dice went into the pocket. All right, Rockets ball. Here we go. It's a 10. 10 refers to an S4, and it's a 32 for the S4. S4 is Moses. 32 is a 10. So a 10 on the big board here is a, depends on, on the defender, and George McGinnis is a B defender. And so that means the basket is good. So instantly we finally have a shot. That means on my tally, I mark the first play of the fourth quarter. And so Moses scores two points. Rockets creep a little closer. And you can take a look at your dice. It's kind of nice. You roll a 10 so you can see if there was an assist on the play, you got to look over, re do a check, and it says Kunert. If Kunert's in the game, which he is, he gets an assist. So Kunert. Assist Moses, and it's 77 to 84. So it moves along pretty well. I'm taking a little more time to demonstrate here. But let's roll another die here, and that's a 10 for the Sixers, which is S3. S3 is Steve Mix right here, and the roll I rolled a 51. So a 51 on Mix's card is a 39, and a 39 is a weird one as well. Turnover, three-second violation. So quickly, turning the ball over is the mixer. Ball returns to the Rockets. Oh, my. got to move this over just a little, I think, if I can. Give me a little room for my dice. Houston returns with the ball. And that's a nine. An S2. S2 is Calvin Murphy. I rolled a 42 on Calvin. 42 is a 42, 
And in Appa Baseball, that's a hit by pitch, everybody knows. But in, in PTG Basketball, charging on offense, defense takes ball. And that is the sixth foul on Calvin Murphy. So Murphy's going to have to leave the game. I've only played like one play, so I'm going to give him one minute. He's going to foul out in crazy three, nine, eleven minutes of play. That's just insanity. So that's too bad. So six fouls for Calvin. And this is this is the substitution pattern. This is kind of a lesson to to learn here. You do have to do a little bit of shuffling when you make one sub during the quarter. So Murphy goes to the bench. He is done. Um, I'm going to put John Lucas in because he's. they need everything they can get. And Lucas is not in foul trouble. You can't hit the broadside of a barn with a shot. But uh, here we go. But see, now Lucas is not the S2 player. So you got to reorganize all the S ratings for quick reference. And I'm going to give the ball to the Sixers here. So uh, the top one is still Rudy. The second one, S2, is now Mike Newland. So you got to remove these undercards. <laughs> it's a little bit of a pain, but it helps you when you're just trying to play the game. You might as well do it. S3. Uh, S5 becomes... Moses becomes S3. And Lucas will be S5. So I've got to change these undercards. And Kunert's S4, so kind of a pain right there, but it's just uh, this is what they they uh, created back in 1965. So Sixers have the ball. It's 84-77. Houston's without their best scoring guard, but they got Newland and Lucas. They're both pretty good. Here comes a dice roll. It's an eight over there. Eight on the Sixers is S1. S1's the number one scorer, McGinnis, playing with five fouls. I roll a 36 on George, and a 36 is a three, which is nearly a basket in most situations. You can see on this floor play chart, three is nearly a basket every time. But what happens here is you go to the defender, the defender rating, and Moses' defensive rating is a four. So you go to the fourth side, and you look at three, and it's a miss. And the miss says C37, which is a missed ball bounces out of bounds. Defense gets a team rebound and gets the ball. So we actually get a miss on that shot. Good defense. Oh, and a miss by McGinnis. Team rebound Houston. Uh, that was a shot, so it's my second tally of the quarter. So sometimes they go really slow if you're not getting a lot of shots off. But most of the time you do. So... Um, Good D by Moses. Rockets have the ball. And that was a young Moses. Uh, four, four for Houston. And that's an S1. Going to the man, Rudy Tomjanovich, also with five fouls. He gets a 32. A 32 on Rudy's card. 32 is a 10, which is usually a pretty good thing. It depends on the defender. Steve Mix is guarding him. He's a B defender. 10. I said 32, 10, right? Yep. Basket. So... Two points for Rudy T. They're coming back. 84-79. That's another shot. So you put that down on the tally. And you check for an assist. I rolled a four. The assist would go to Lucas if he's in the game. And it does. So John Lucas is getting quite a few assists. There is no dazzler. There is no automatic assist from the point guard. So point guard's value is a little bit less substantial in this game. But, of course, it's based on 1965. They weren't thinking about dazzlers like in Stratomatic or other games. So... Here we go. Let's see uh, what the Sixers can do on retaliation. Here's an 11. 11 is S5. And it's the lowest shooter. Once again, Caldwell Jones getting the ball with a 25. The 25 is a 25. And that's one of those automatic misses here, if you can see on the chart. 25 missed rebound to defensive left guard. So we, get a, we put another tally mark down. Miss for Caldwell. Left guard rebounds, and that's going to be John Lucas. Houston gets the ball. Play is fairly simple. There's not too much to think about. You just let it go. There's a 10. A 10 is an S4. S4 is Coonert. You roll a 25 for Kevin Coonert. 
And that is a 25. Once again, same result, missed shot, rebound to left guard. So Kunert misses a shot. Tally mark number five. Left guard rebounds, that's Henry Bibby. Sixers with the ball back. This pace is getting frenetic, but they're all missing, so makes it easy. Nine. Sixers, S2. Lloyd Free, who draws a lot of fouls. 45. Free's card is a 45, and that's a six. I called that one right on the bat, off the bat. Fouled in the act of shooting, so Free is going to get two shots. I'm not including free throws shooting in the in the clock count. I'm counting only field goal attempts, not free throw attempts. So he's fouled in the act of shooting. And when it's a five, six, or, um, five, six, or seven, you look at the random assignment of foul. So it's not directly across. It's not going to be a foul on Newland unless I roll. There's a little chart here, one through six. And it could be anybody. And I rolled a one, which is fine. The, foul on the opposing defensive player. So it is actually on Newland. But that's a way that you're not always going to be fouling your def guy that's guarding you every time. So it is a foul on, on Mike. Three, two shots for Lloyd Free. He makes them from 25 through 66, so we'll see how that rolls. That's a 33. Good on the first. 35. Good on the second. So two free throws for the future World B Free. And it's 86 to 79. Back to the Houston Rockets. They get the possession, and look what they did. Uh, three. Three up here is S3. S3 is Moses Malone. I rolled an 11. 11's a 1. That's pretty much a home run. That's a, the, the easiest basket. When you roll a 1 on the shot chart, there's a good on all types of defenders. So that's, that's an automatic hoop for Moses. 86-81. One more tally mark. Do we have an assist on three? The assist was says Jones. Dwight Jones is not in the game, so no dice there. Anyway, let's go with another play. Sixers got the ball back. And that is a nine. A nine is an S2. S2 goes to free again. And free got a 16, which is a two, which in most cases is a very is, is a made shot. It's just after the one, obviously. Two, and the defender is a two, Mike Newland. So a two is good under a defender two. You can see a two, good. So basket by free, tally mark, number seven. Um, free scores. Is there an assist? You look at nine. Nine, uh, McGinnis gets the assist. Yes, he does. So we quickly move along. Almost want the appetite shaker for this. Okay, back to the Rockets. And I rolled a two. Two is an S4. S4 is Kunert, 45. It's a 45. And it's that same funky thing that I got before. Um, what's my defender class? Defender class is four. If it's a three or a four, Defense takes on a steal. So turnover, Kunert. Steal by Caldwell Jones. And obviously they didn't keep track of steals when they originally created the game. So these steals are pretty, they're based on your overall defensive ability, not on your individual stats, even though in 1977 they kept steals and blocks. So that's an, they didn't really make any modifications to the cards or the game. So there's something to be said, said for that too. That means you can play, universally play old and new teams against each other. So... That's a steal. No movement of the clock. Ball goes right to uh, the Sixers. You roll a three. S1. Catchings. Oh, at catchings we get the assist. Sorry. S1. George McGinnis. 63. 23. That's an automatic miss. Miss rebounder. Defensive right forward. Tom Janovich. So, tally mark. Miss by Big George. Rebound. Tom Janovich. And we're on our way. Rockets ball. Um, five. Five is an S2. S2 is Mike Newland. Roll a 22. 22 is a 22. Another auto miss shot. Missed rebound defensive left forward. Miss Newland. Rebound McGinnis. 
begin us with the board. Tally mark number nine. Sixers come back. Roll to six. S3. That's Steve Mix. And that's a 44. Mix on a 44. Has a 44. Traveling. That's a turnover on Steve Mix. Mix with two turnovers this quarter. I might have to yank him out and get Dr. J back in. He's having a good game. Okay. Back to the Rockets. That quickly. 10. A 10 is S4. S4 is Coonert. 55. 55 is a 1. That's pretty much a slam dunk for Coonert. Two points. 83-88. Tally mark goes in. You can check for an assist. That's a 10. Oh, Coonert is the passer. Um, there may be a rule in here where you're supposed to like give an assist to yourself to keep the assists up to speed, but I'm not going to give assist to my own self for a basket. That's my own homemade rule. Anyway, here's another play. Let's go. Sixers. That's a 7. And that's an S4. I kept getting that. S4, which is Henry Bibby, who's been shooting a lot this game. 34. 34 is a 4. So depending on the defense, and Lucas is pretty good. Defensive Defender 4. A 4 is still good. So Henry Bibby lucks out. Tally mark 11. Bibby pops it in. 90-83. Assist on that seven is free, and free is in the game. So, assist for World B. And back to the Rockets. Moves pretty fast. You're not turning any over any, over any fast action cards or play action cards. It's, it's a little bit different. It's different than even Wayne Wisco's computer basketball, too, because it's kind of directly passing to players. So you got nine. S2 goes to Newland. You roll a 52. 52 on Newland is a 7. That's a foul drawn. Foul 1 free throw, but it's to a random player. So we do not know. It's a one-shot foul. We're not in the penalty or anything. So we roll this one die. I rolled a 5. The 5 says foul on opposing defensive left guard. It's on Henry Bibby. So Bibby gets the foul. It's the first team foul on the Sixers. It's only the second foul on Bibby. So Houston retains possession. And here we go. I roll a 7. A 7 is S1. Rudy Tomjanovich, 54. 54 is a 38, which is the miss. Ball bounces off rim after deflection of shot. So I'm going to give a block shot to Steve Mix's defender. And the offense retains possession because the ball went out of, after the ball goes out of bounds. So uh, there's a tally mark. Rudy misses. Blocked by Mix. Team rebound um, for the Rockets. And that's our 13th team rebound. There's a lot of team rebounds in this game. Maybe a few too many. I'm going to go one more play before I maybe pick it up at the end of the game here. There's a 4. And a 4 is S1, Rudy Tomjanovich. 34. 34 for Rudy is a 4. And so this can be based on the defender because it's defensive 1 through 4. Uh, defender is a 2. And a 4 is missed. Missed C34, C number 34. So we're going to have a miss by Rudy, I believe. Yeah, miss by Rudy. Uh, another hash mark. 13 plays, about halfway through the, you know, about three minutes in, four minutes in. Um, rebound on 34 is to the defensive center. Um, but if the class high, if, if the other, the opposing center has three or more higher than him on rebounds, well, they're tied on rebounds. So it's definitely, uh, missed by Rudy rebound Caldwell Jones. They're about tied on rebounds. If there's a significant, different, significant difference, difference in rebounds, uh, they allow that rebound play to potentially be reversed. So anyway, we're about three, three minutes or so in. And uh, I'm going to pick up on this in the final closing minutes. Right now, we're just going to take a pause, and we'll see you at the end of the game, see how this one plays out. All right, we're down to our last two minutes of gameplay. About ten plays left in this Philadelphia-Houston game. And it's been a foul fest, to say the least. The 76ers have lost 
two of their players to disqualification. That would be um, Daryl Dawkins, which wouldn't be too unusual for the young fouling machine. Uh, Caldwell Jones got injured for the remainder of the period, and George McGinnis also fouled out. So three guys down for Philadelphia. For the Rockets, it's even worse. They lost uh, Kevin Cooner to six fouls. Leading scorers uh, Rudy Tomjanovich and Calvin Murphy to six fouls earlier in this fourth quarter. So they're playing, uh, you know, utilizing whatever they have left. So, uh, but amazingly, the Houston Rockets have come back. And on the heels of Moses Malone, who's just had a dazzling quarter, uh, his stats are right near the this number right here. You see the guy with all the twos. He scored eight points on perfect four for four shooting. He's got 12 points in the period. So Moses, he's grabbing rebounds like crazy. So Moses has propelled the Rockets to a 108 to 104 lead with 10 plays left in this game. So we're going to just try and complete this game and hopefully nobody else will foul out. I think everybody who could foul out already did. So here comes the Philadelphia 76ers. So let's push this down toward the court. Get her going. All right, Sixers have the ball. They got to feed Dr. J. That's the man, or Doug Collins. Let's see what happens here. Uh, the roll is a nine, so the nine on the the shot card is S2, which is Doug Collins. A 36. What does that do? 36 is a one. That's an automatic basket for Doug Collins. So the Sixers pull within 108, 106. Um. Is there any assist on that play? A nine. It says McGinnis, but he's already fouled out. So, no, it's just two for Doug Collins. And it's 108-106. So we continue playing. Just about two minutes left of equivalent play here. And here comes the Rockets. Um, that's a seven, which is the S1, which is now... Mike Newland, 13, uh, is an 8 on Newland's card. An 8 with a class, or oh, defender B, Doug Collins. An 8 reads, um, fouled in the act of shooting. So that is going to be a foul on Doug Collins. Hopefully he's not in foul trouble. That's just 2. But that's one, two, three, six, seven team fouls. So three to make two for Mike Newland, who's a fabulous foul shooter, always has been. First free throw is 35. Easily good. He only misses 11 through 14. Oh, there's a 14, 13 penalty shot. Makes the third. So two out of three free throws for Newland. He's got 10 in the quarter. He does have five fouls, though, so he could be in trouble. But the Rockets once again are up by 4, 110, 106. So here come the Sixers. And that is a. I'm going to read that. No, that doesn't work any better. That is a 9. A 9 on the dice is uh, S2, which would go to Doug Collins again. 24. 24 is a 24, which is a missed shot. Missed shot, rebound, Moses Malone. So. Moses is just clearing those boards. Miss Collins, rebound Moses. All right. 17 of 25 plays in. Rockets get the ball with a four-point lead. So the Sixer fans, I don't know what's going on. They had an eight-point lead going into this period. A nine. S2, that's JJ. Rolled a 15 on John Johnson. Uh, so that's a five, which is a foul. Oh, good and fouled. John Johnson. And we'll have to determine who the foul is on, but let's get everything squared away. Hash mark there. JJ with a basket. 112, 106. Is there any assist on that play? Nine, Ratliff, no. The foul is a mystery because it's on five, six, or seven, so we'll see. It's a two. Uh, that would be on the opposing defensive left forward, which would be Steve Mix. That's three on him. Two to make one for John Johnson. 
And it's a 41. Good. Three point play, JJ. 113, 106. Rockets starting to pull away on the road. And a three for the Sixers. It's going to be an S1. Julius Irving. 66. That's pretty much a dunk for the doctor. It's a one. And so a quick two pointer by Dr. Jake. Pulls it back within five. We're running out of time. We only have uh, six plays left. Assist on that play. Harvey Catchings, of all people, in the game because Dawkins and Caldwell Jones are you know, disqualified and injured. So here come the Rockets. Got it back down to five. Let's see what happens here. That's a five. S2, JJ again, 51. Is a 37. That's going to be a missed ball knocked out of bounds off the rim credit the defense with a team rebound so uh miss shot by jj so that counts as the 20th play team rebound philadelphia and here come the sixers trying to cut into that five point deficit we've got ourselves an 11 uh, i mean 11 a two s5 Lowly Harvey catchings with a 55. 55 is a 46, which is a 24-second violation. Big turnover by the Sixers. They've been getting a few turnovers this period. So back to the Rockets. Back to the Rockets. See what we can do. Well, we roll a 5. A 5 is S2. That's John Johnson. Again, he is getting the ball a lot. 53 again. 53 is a 3. And that will be depending on the defender. Irving is actually a really good one though, isn't he? He's a defender 4. So that is going to be a 3. Will be a miss. C37, which gives you the ball knocked out of bounds. Awarded to the defense basically. Miss shot for John Johnson, which counts as the 21st field goal attempt of the period, so we're running out of time. So JJ with a miss, team rebound, Philly, but they've only got four plays to get this thing, get back in this game. Let's see what happens. I've got a five. A five is S2, which is Doug Collins. 25 for Doug is a 25, which is a missed shot. Rebound to the left guard. So Time is running out on Philadelphia. Rebound John Lucas. The score is 108 to 113. Great comeback by Philadelphia. After a terrible third quarter, they've really locked them up on defense. There's an 8. 8 is S5, which is Dwight Jones. 64 on Dwight is an 18, which is Miss. Rebound to offensive right forward. Uh, let's see. And that only applies. Um, oh, if the defender is a D, shooter is fouled. Um, geez. Defender is a D. No. Okay. If the, if the defender's class four ball is stolen, no. It's, that would be mix. Nope. So everything's the same. It looks like they're going to grab the offensive rebound, which was that 30, what was it, 64, 18, offensive right forward John Johnson with the rebound. Um, so they got that, there's still four plays left. Or did I get? Yeah, I think I'm about right. Here come the Rockets. Uh, four. That's an S1. That is Mike Newland, 56. 56 is a 7. Ooh. And he's fouled. A one-shot foul, but it's going to be two free throws. The foul's on a mystery guy. Number three, foul on the defensive right forward. That's Julius Irving. Newland will get two free throws and can lock this game up, basically. Mike Newland, a great foul shooter. First one for Newland. He has a 16. He gets it. And a 64. 
This game is about over. Oh, Mike Newland. Where did I find him on this thing? Here he is. New one. 115. 108. There's four plays left. Sixers. Seven. S4. Stupid Henry Bibby. I keep getting Bibby. 13. Eight. Eight could be a foul. The draw is a defender of a defender. An eight. Oh, it's just a good shot. Basket, Bibby. Put it in. Play 22. Bibby scores on Lucas. Nice shot. Uh, is there any assist on the play? Seven. Free, not in the game. 115 to 110. Was that 110? Let me see. Did I put it down for Bibby? Let me count that. 6, 9, 15, 17, 19, 20, 22, 24, 25, 27 in the quarter from 83. Yeah, it should be 110. 110, 115, three plays left. Rockets ball. And this one's an 8. S5 again, Dwight Jones. 65 is a 15. A 15 is a missed Rebound a defensive left guard, which will be Bibby, unless the defender is a D on Dwight Jones. No. The defender is class 4. No. So it's a miss for Dwight Jones. Rebound Bibby. Move the clock. Dwight Jones with the miss. Rebound to Bibby. Time is running out. 110, 115. Two plays left. The Sixers need something special. Uh, that's a 10. S3. Steve the Mixer Mix. Uh, gets a 26. It's a 26. That's a missed shot. Rebound to the right guard. So uh, Newland cleans up the rebound off a mixed jump shot. And we're down to one play left. And the Rockets look to wrap this thing up. Got a 7. S1 Mike Newland, 66 scores at the buzzer. That'll conclude the game. Newland has a fabulous quarter, 117 to 110. Any assist on that last play? No. So uh, quite a final quarter for Newland. He had 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14 points. Filling in for Murphy and Tom Jonovich on offense. And uh, that has been the, uh, that's the game. A great uh, comeback win by the Rockets, who were nearly tied at halftime. But uh, came back with a great fourth quarter. A whole uh, exodus of players due to fouls occurred. And so uh, I'll have the final stats on this one and probably post them on this video. So anyway, have a good night and uh, so long from the Spectrum in Philadelphia.